Hi, I'm Tony, SV Tapatio. We are building a cruising sailboat. And, um, I have a feeling it's been a good week this week. We've got quite a bit done. You know how it is maybe. Some weeks you, you, you feel like you've worked a lot, but there's not much to show. And other weeks you feel like you've achieved something significant. And, and it's been one of those weeks this week. So let's go in the boat shed and have a look. Walk this way. Oh! What's happened? Where's it gone? Is it shrunk?
好扔，好扔。So here we are, out under the open sky. First time ever, out of the shed. She's lovely. It's great to see her out in the, in the, in the open air, as I say, in, in the light. We'll go inside in a minute and have a look inside. The, the light inside is just totally different and uh, it's very nice to see. I'm quite pleased with it. And the technique was simple enough. We just pulled her forwards with this come along winch, which is a brilliant piece of kit. Attach one into the tow bar of the car. Kerry sat in the car with a foot on the brake, and uh, that gives enough resistance to be able to pull her out on the rollers. Uh, sometimes a bit of heaving involved, but um, come out fine. Got a sort of wooden frame underneath the boat that she's been sat on. It's still part of the old um, strong back. It's been sat on all the time. And just put these fence posts underneath them as rollers. What are they, about two inch diameter, I guess. 
but just rollers fed them in from the front when they got to the back we shook them out and yeah pleased it was fairly tight at the top there in terms of height i took the hatch turtle off the stove chimney i took off the after the two mast fittings I took off, so we'd have enough clearance there. Um, but come out then fine. So put the chimney back on, fitted that properly now. And we also installed that aft mast fitting. Where's the punch mark? There, goes that way out. Holes. Yeah. Somewhere around there, but nowhere near there. <laughs> should be in line. That should be it. Yeah, good.
And then the next thing I wanted to do was to start thinking about the Bimini and, and um, you know, you can do what you like in terms of looking at the drawings and that, which of course you do do. But for, for me, I, I need to visualise it in reality as well. So I mocked up a very cheap and nasty looking bit of battens and ply to, to mock up the Bimini. Uh, and that's done. I've now gone ahead and ordered the stainless to make it in, in reality. And there we are inside and I hope you get a feeling of the, uh, of the light in here. It's, it's just completely different to what it was in the shed. The, these two bullseye port lights there are glowing no matter what direction the sun's in. They seem to transmit the light really well. Obviously the two hatches and the deck there, the, the ports around the sides. The, the light in there is, is really good, really happy with it and it brings out the colours of the wood very nicely. Looking great. In here we've got a few things to do. I uh, should be trying to get on with those this week I think. Doors, uh, covered doors and perhaps the actual door and the heads. Um, trim around the bottom here and fiddles ready for the upholstery. Um, one or two bits to do. I've made the very first start you'll see it next week on the hatch the motor room hatch uh, there and there's various bits of wiring and connections to do in the motor room as well which i hope to be getting on with uh, in the very near future you know having her outside now is a whole new ball game and very exciting obviously i've got the railings bimini those sort of things to do deck fittings um but clearly you know other things that i've been talking about for a good while Mast, masts can now be built in the shed. I've now got room enough in the shed to build the masts and the keel construction. I think I'll do the mast first, keel after that. Um, and then clearly we've got to think about hanging the rudder and, uh, and then we'll be getting there, won't we? It's getting quite exciting. And a big thank you from me to the good people who support this project on Patreon and PayPal. Uh, you really are inspiration to keep that keeps this these videos coming um, and if any of the other good people out there in the wide world want to show their appreciation of these videos as little as one dollar euro pound a month on patreon or via paypal paypal.me links are in the description below that's it for this week guys thank you for watching all that youtube stuff thumbs up Hit that bell, the subscribe button, and uh, leave a comment. It was good to hear from you. We'll be back next week, getting on under the open sky. That's cool. See you next week. Bye. Thank you.